And for some reason I told that story to all of you, so now you guys can make fun of me for apparently not knowing how to insert a gas nozzle into the, the car. Hello, my most radical squad members, Napkins here, and welcome back to Virginia. Um, let's just jump right back into this crazy story that, you know, things are happening. Uh, a couple of you guys have been um, kind of like interpreting what's going on in your own way, and it's been really cool to see like some predictions, so keep those coming in, please. Distant city traffic. Um, this is not, oh, that's the couch, that's why. It... Have I just, no, no, this is not my apartment. Where the fuck am I? Like, where, I don't, I keep looking over there and I need to stop doing that. Where the fuck am I? Um, this is definitely not my apartment. My apartment is tinier and I'm pretty sure I had boxes everywhere and it did not have a skylight and it had a water buffalo inside of it so already that's that's the first thing that gave it away where am I this is like a full house get it full house that's a that's a TV show I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Nothing going on. New left notes. New left notes. I don't know what I'm supposed to be interpreting from that. Uh, that's a bird feather. I want to pick that up, please. Oh god, is that from my dead bird friend? Okay, I've got a bird feather. God. I keep getting stressed that this game is gonna have some like weird jump scares. Okay. I'm having some weird nightmare thing. Let's just go back to sleep. If you go back to sleep, you'll either pull an inception and go further into the dream and it just gets worse, or you um or you'll wake up because yeah. Have you guys ever had that? I've had that before where like I'm dreaming and then I fall asleep inside my dream and it's like it's like I'm having a double dream. Wait, did I Oh, I thought I activated something for a second. Um, uh, and it like freaked, it's like I woke up from a dream inside of a dream, and then when I woke up the second time in like real life, um, it, it took me a second to be sure that it was actually real life because of how many times I'd like woken up already. Okay, what it, it's like I'm in somebody's like an old person's home, or somebody with a physical disability even. Because, you know, they've got like the chair that goes up to up the stairs, and they had like the kind of medical room that I know sometimes people will actually have in their houses when somebody's like very, very ill. Where am I? I still think that this is a dream. Really weird dream. That's my coworker, isn't it? My partner? My partner in solving crimes? Anyway, yeah. So, like, having double dreams is, like, actually super freaky because it's, like, you're never quite sure when you're waking up or if you're like still dreaming and then it trips you out. Um, it's actually why I, uh, on my phone, I have, I pulled this up like I'm going to show you guys, um, but I have, it's really hard to see. 
I have military time on my phone. Um, and it's because really, really often I would be waking up from like these super vivid dreams. Um, and like these weird like double triple dream things that I'm talking about right now and honestly not be sure like what time of the day it was. So I put it to military time because then I can never be mistaken if it's like early in the morning or late at night. Fun fact about me personally as a person. Okay, so now we're developing these pictures that we found. So I found that weird, like, old-fashioned, like, computer version thingy of my police partner, but, like, I don't know if I've actually done anything with that information or if she even knows that I found that stuff out. What is that? I can't see it. You are not helpful. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's him. Is he with the... Is he with the girl? Wow, well, I can't remember who's miss. I don't even know who's missing. Is it a girl or a guy? Pastor Chuck. Can I like zoom in, please? I really want to see what that is. Okay, never mind. Um, is it really gonna be the pastor? Like honestly, they're gonna go with the classic. It was the pastor the whole time, but you trusted him because he was a man of religion and integrity. He doesn't look happy. Probably because he got arrested. Oh, shit! Is that his wife? Sorry, I love watching this drama unfold. I'm glad I didn't go through the door yet. Okay, what's up? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, was he having an affair? with the mom? Is that what was going on? God, I'm just confused all around. I wish that they would, you know, optimistic music. Okay, chains. Okay, so there's chains on hands. And we're gonna have some weird fading transition. That's a really strange statue. Federal Bureau of Investigation. A lot of writing that I can't. At the behest of the assistant director's office, special agent Maria, subject to a- Fuck! Come on! I wanted to read that. I want to know why she's getting investigated. Like, is it drugs? Is it alcohol? Is it because somebody died that shouldn't have on her watch? There's a lot of things that I don't get about this. What the fuck are we doing? Are we s oh, are we staking this out? I feel like we're really obvious for a stakeout. Like, don't you normally hide a little better for a stakeout? That uh huh. Yeah. You saw that too, right? Is that weird? Is that suspicious? Apparently it's not. Yep. Yep. 
that's what I play on my ice cream truck. We're just going. So what was the point of sitting there all day if we we're just gonna go whenever we want? I this game is confusing. Hi, okay, jump cuts. We just almost hit them. Oh shit, I didn't know that she got out. Shit, yo! I'm with the FBI, try and stop me. <laughs> okay, all I could think of right now is the fact that um, one time I went to put gas in my car and I didn't realize that I hadn't fully inserted the gas nozzle into my gas tank. Um, and I thought that the gas, the, the thing was broken. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna move to another pump and I had my friends with me. And my friends try, oh my God, she did not just get me a buffalo plushie. <laughs> That's rude. Don't open it. Oh, that's awkward as fuck. Oh no, she probably thought that we were becoming friends. Oh, and then she found out I was only there to investigate her. She even got me a buffalo plushie. Oh shit, this music is creepy. Okay, so anyway, I went to, so I thought that the gas pump was broken because I was stupid and didn't insert the gas pump all the way. And so my friends got out and tried it and was like, Amy, it does work. You're just, you're just dumb. And then they like did it on the second one to show me how I'd done it wrong. And to this day, they still will send me pictures from filling up their own cars and say, just to make just to make sure you haven't forgotten. And so the fact that in this game I had to pump gas into the car, I just know that they're gonna watch this video and laugh their ass off at me. So yes, I do know how to pump gas into the car, okay? I made one mistake and I will never live it down now for the rest of my life. And for some reason I told that story to all of you, so now you guys can make fun of me for apparently not knowing how to insert a gas nozzle into the the car. I'm like really sad that we were becoming friends to the point where I apparently told her about my weird buffalo dream and oh shit I'm in one of those weird fever dreams again. I don't like this. Hello, hello, there's a lot of you. Please don't do that. Why are you taking so many pictures? Oh, this must be like right after I got accepted. Or no, no, because Pastor Chuck's here. Oh my god, I just want to read the stupid... So this, what is this? Is this just showing like... Hi. Hello. Again with the bird and the buffalo. Everybody's got a buffalo. Yours is dead, but mine keeps coming back. Maybe it's a zombie buffalo. Will we find out? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got the plushie with me still. And whatever this is in my hand that I keep staring at. Oh, now I have to get a taxi because we're not friends anymore because she hates me. But it's not my fault that I'm investigating her. They kind of like assigned it to me. And I probably thought that I would hate her or something. 
Did we ever get that back? I can't remember. Yeah, we did, because I had that picture of the girl that had the different last names. Um, and we never really figured out what her relationship was to my partner. There's a lot of things I'm not sure of in this game. Hey, Mr. Taximan, turn around. I got some shit back there to take care of. Or no, maybe it's that we didn't find it, but I found the necklace and looked inside of it. What? Go back. What's this? Oh, I'm just gonna pick a flower. Okay. Cool, now that flower is gonna die, so how's that feel? Huh? Um, okay, so we're back at the Firewatch site. Where we found a dead bird. We got... In a fight with a teenager. We're gonna climb a fence. Go try and find a necklace. Hopefully there's no more uh, zombie buffalo around here. Cause those are creepy. This is gonna break and I'm gonna fall into this ravine and I'm gonna die. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh god. <gasps> okay, I'm dead. I'm dead now. Really, this has just been one long flashback of apparently the most important moments of my life because I'm dead. This is where Slender Man lives. So even if I'm not dead from- I should be- I should have broken bones from this fall. Like I should not be able to walk right now. Why do I keep picking flowers? Um. Okay, so all the bones in my body are broken, and Slenderman is just gonna finish me off now. That was creepy. That's. <gasps> oh my god! Am I gonna find? Am I gonna find Big at the end of this? Big Cat. Whatever the fuck his name is. Oh god, I'm having flashbacks to Sonic Dream collection. I never want flashbacks to that. Yep. With my broken legs. Just gonna kick open the grate. I like that there's this convenient path. What the hell is going on? How is the necklace up there? Did a raccoon just grab it and carry it up there? We just gonna pretend that this is totally normal for this to be up on top of a boulder? Really far away from where it was thrown? Like... I'm glad that we're just ignoring all of these questions. Yep, it's that girl who I'm not sure if it was her sister or her wife or her sister-in-law. Kit, I just... Music is getting intense again, guys. Last time we got this intense, we ended up going through that crazy archive of files. This is like, I'm about to get murdered music. That's what this is. Or I'm about to find a dead body. Either way, somebody's dead. Hopefully it's not me. Oh, there's the mop I will use for the blood that's either mine or somebody else's. Oh, oh, Ortega! That was one of the names! There was one of the names on the... yeah. 
I think that that was that one girl's second last name. Because she had two. Just kick it. Or I guess lockpick. That's fine. I wish I could lockpick that easily. Damn. Oh! Oh, is that whose house I was in? Okay, so maybe... Maybe it... her brother's wife? Her... Her... Her mom? Like her... Oh my god, I'm so confused. I'm missing something super obvious, aren't I? I don't know, somebody's gonna comment something, I'm gonna be like, oh shit, that's totally the answer. I want somebody get me one of those, because that seems really, really useful. I want one. What in the world? Is she running a drug ring? Or is she just trying to like heal whoever Jay Ortega is? Oh, right there. Yep, I wanted to zoom in on that man's face. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you for knowing that. Okay, I was like, did the game just freeze? No, it just did one of those weird jump cut things again. Wow, I can look down really far. Can I? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. I had to, like, just check to make sure that, like, a neck actually works that way. Because I... Stop that. I don't like that. I like how her veins look like, um... Like the imprint from a leaf, almost. It's kind of cool. Oh, stop going sideways. That's so weird. I can't tell if she like feels guilty because I think she finished her job. Did she like find out what she was supposed to? So I have a feeling that what was happening was that she was stealing files because she works in the filing area and she had a bunch of different case files in her like secret locked room thing. I don't know why she was stealing files because it never let me read her like internal investigation thing but <sighs> this game is so confusing. Oh, I see you're still pissy with me. Look, you can't really run from me unless you're gonna jump, so... I don't care. Because we're... we're pals. And you bought me a buffalo, but now all these super, um... Now all of these really, really important case files are just kind of floating around in the wind. And, uh, and yeah, now anybody could read any of your personal information because I literally just threw all those files out into the open. Cool, I'm glad we had that conversation. Wait, how'd she get that red envelope? No, but really, I feel like that's really unsafe to throw those files into the wind um, where anybody could find them and read them. Oh, final day. Stop. Okay. Well, we will play the final day in the next episode, so 
oh, things are getting crazy. I, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so dearly. And I will see you in the next episode. burn because that'd be bad for Smokey the bear would be really really sad if a forest burn doesn't actually want the forest to burn